Hello and welcome to today's League of Legends Roundup where we cover the games that took place in the LCS from last night, LCK, LPL, LCS from today, as well as preview the games tomorrow in the LPL. Um, if you, one second, if you haven't um, watched one of these videos before, if you're new to the channel, I've had quite a few subscribers, I go over the games um, briefly for you and uh, also upload daily content during the week um well secondary content throughout the week um, of various different topics so hopefully you look forward to things like that um discord link is in the description if you'd like to join us we watch the game and bs in the text channel um, some people have expressed interest in watch parties if that's what somebody wants to do they can as long as a mod is there or whatever so nobody says something stupid um, but nevertheless lcs Golden Guardians, 100 Thieves, start us off. 100 Thieves would win last night. Um, closer going 11, 2, and 8. FBI, 8, 4, and 8 with a team leading 29% of damage. River, 4, 3, and 8 for Golden Guardians. EG would get past TSM, moving to 12 and 2. Danny, 5, 0, oh, and 7, 32% of the team's damage. Impact, 6, 0, oh, and 7 in top. Instinct was the best player for TSM in what was a rough go. Instinct going 2, 3, and 2. TL, Great weekend. Um, would win over FlyQuest. Whippo going 8 1 and 2, mainly because of Whippo. Um, Jensen 3 0 and 6 in mid with a team leading 37% of damage. Um, Johnson 1 4 0 with 36% of FlyQuest's damage as they got completely railroaded. IMT versus Dignitas. Dignitas win. Blue goes 8 1 and 4 in mid. Spawn 4 0 and 7 with 35% of Dig's damage. Lost went 4 2 and 1 for Immortals as um, the bottom tier teams played against each other in, uh, last night and tonight. C9 and CLG, both teams 8 and 5 going into today. CLG would get past C9. Contracts going 8 1 and 5. Dokla 3 2 and 7 on adjacent top lane, dealing 30% of the team's damage. Fudge 2 3 and 1 for C9. As C9 has an awful weekend. I put them in the top 25, and they are going to be out of the top 25 when it comes to my power rankings on Thursday. Stars of last night, Bwipo, Closer, Blue, Danny, and Poom. I went 3-2 and two on my predictions and 1-1 one and one on my over-unders with a push. In the LCK this morning, T1 would get past Nongshim 2-1, to 7th in the power rankings, going to 14-2. and two. Gumiyushi 13, 8, and 14 with 32% of the team's damage. Owner in the jungle went 13, 7, and 15. BDD was the star for Nongshim going 14, 10, and 14, trying to get Nongshim another win, but I mean, their split's over. Um, in the LCK as well, we had Kwangdong and DRX as the top six playoffs. I mean, the playoffs were decided today. Um, the teams that are going to make the playoffs, which is very disappointing. The whole last week of LCK summer will have no. Um, you know, drama when it comes to somebody trying to make the playoffs. Uh, the Freaks losing 2-0. Deft went 11-4-15 and 15 with 38% of DRX's damage. Zika 9-1-13 and 13 in mid as both players heated up over the last couple series. Teddy 13-8-14 and 14 with a team leading 32% of damage for the Freaks. Keen non-existent again like he's been all split long. I believe he went like 0-7-5. and 5. Just downright awful. I honestly, I think there's a case to be made that Keen might be the most disappointing individual player this entire season. Um, and especially Summer. Just individually, top five player in his role, in my opinion, coming into Summer. And he looked awful all Summer long. Um, LPL, Ultra Prime, and Victory 5. Victory 5 would win 2-1. to one. Rookie 18, 5, and 19 in mid with 32% of the team's damage. Bodic 12, 6, and 23. Elk was a monster for Ultra Prime going 16, 6, and 13 with a whopping 42% of Ultra Prime's damage. He had over 1,000 um, damage per minute across the entire series, I believe, or at least high 900s. Game 2, he dealt like 68k damage or something. Like absolutely bonkers numbers. JDG beat Anyone's Legend 2-0. JDG splits over 14-2. Third in the power rankings. Yagao 12-0 and 11 in mid with 26% of JDG's damage. Hope would go 9-2 and 11. Zhao Hao was the star for Anyone's Legend going 6-5 and 4. He had 5 kills on a trundle to end it. Um, as far as this goes, 
I went 4-0, predicted all four series right on my Patreon, and I went 6-2-1 um, and one on my over-under. So, a very good morning for me. But now we get to this. This was awful once again. I went 1-4 and four on my predictions in wins and losses, and I went 1-2 um, and two on my over-unders, because prize picks, prize picks is who I use for the prop reference for um, determining whether a player could be a good player or a bad play for people. Um and they gave some tough uh, LEC and LCS picks this weekend. I mean, really tough. Um, so, CLG versus FlyQuest. Uh, CLG move on to 10-5. and five. I cannot believe it. I really cannot believe CLG has double-digit wins. Um, Palafox, 7-6-4. and 33% of the team's damage. Luger, 8-4-7. and seven. Takui tried his damnedest for FlyQuest, going 12-3-9 and nine on a Zoe in mid and could not get past um clg c9 and 100 thieves both in the top 25 of my power rankings 100 thieves move on to 12 and 3 fbi 12 0 and 8 with 45 percent of 100 thieves damage abadage 6 1 and 13 in mid fudge was the star for c9 going 4 3 and 3 with um 40 percent of their damage as c9 just fallen off you know we'll see how they do in best of fives i think they're better suited for best of fives but still i mean Going 0-2 this weekend, I thought that they may have turned it around. I guess not. TL and EG. EG fall to TL as TL moves to 10-5. and 5, Both uh, top 21 in the power rankings. Bwipo, 6-2-10 and 10 in top with 25% of the team's damage. Santorin, 7-1-11. and 11. Jojo Pune, 3-5-10 and 10 in mid for EG. Sorry, 3-5-0. and 0. EG got smoked. Um, and 3-5-0 and 0 was the best looking score. Immortals and Golden Guardians, two teams at the bottom of the standings. Immortals win. Power of Evil goes 5-1-3. and three. Lost 4-1-2. and two. Uh, Stixay went 3-2-0 three, um, three, and oh for Golden Guardians. The last two games, I don't have the specific damage numbers. Um, games of Legend did not post the damage numbers yet, so I don't have them. TSM versus Dignitas. Um, TSM get past Dig. Spica 6, 3, and 7. Instinct 5, 0, oh, and 10. Spica 13 out of 16 kill participation. Instinct 15 out of uh, 16. Very clean win by them as they move to 5 wins. Um, Spawn went 2, 1, and 2 for Dig. So there's that. Stars of the day for all these regions um, LCK, Kana, Owner, Faker, Death, and Barrel. Um, LPL was 369, Zhao Lao Bao, Yagao, Elk, and Missing. And then in the LCS, it was Buipo, Santorin, Takui, FBI, and Poom once again. Poom, 0 2 and 20, or 2 3 and 15, or something. Um, did a very, very, I mean, I know those scores are all over the place, but who he went 0 2 and 20. Poom did very well. Um, CLG, just a great weekend. I, can, I mean, you got to give them props when it's due. I mean, they are playing some. You know, I mean, statistically, they're not great. Um, but the fact of the matter is they're winning games. Like this one, they won with less kills. I know kills aren't the end-all, be-all. But it's a good idea to figure out who the hell, you know, just with a, just without even looking at, like, if you look back at a game and you're like, wow. I mean, CLG has more gold than FlyQuest, but FlyQuest has more kills. How did CLG win? I mean, it must have been a highly contested game. And it was. CLG backdoored FlyQuest. Um, so, other interesting things. I believe uh, Zayas picked a Zack in Game 3 of the series against N uh, Nongshim. Just kind of something to think about. Um, and C9 picked Nyla. Uh, so that's a good reason why they lost Nyla. Um, in my limited looks of her, aka two games, she stinks. Um, but nevertheless, that's it for the roundup portion of the video. Now onto the sneak peek. Alright, not a lot to really go over because you only have the LPL tomorrow. But a good matchup to start us off, Thunder Talk and RNG, both in the top 14 in my power rankings. I have Thunder Talk a lot higher than the majority of people do. I've been a fan of Thunder Talk for a very long time this split before anybody was really on board. Um, they could miss the playoffs and it'd be like, wow, well, now you got to own up to it. They missed the playoffs. That could happen. Um, but as of right now, uh, they're going to be probably 6-8 and eight after this one because RNG are 12-2. and two. Um, RNG are very freaking good. They've just beat IG 2 to 1. Thunder Talk beat LGD 2 to 1. Week 2, day 1 of spring. RNG beat TT 2 0. Zhao Hu 19 6 and 10. Zhao Hu versus UCAL is what I want to watch. Um, given that um, 
Thundertalk had Captain in mid at the time. In spring when they played last, uh, Thundertalk, most of that roster is not the roster they have now. Um, New was in top, I believe, and now Hoya is. Beshwan in jungle instead of um, Chieftain. I don't even think Chieftain was in there. Frigid might have even been in there that early in the split. Um, Captain and then Puff and Southwind are out. Kepler and Yao Yao are in. So the whole Thunder Talk roster is different than it was in spring at that time. BLG and Team Wee. BLG need this win. Team Wee need to just get a win. Um, OMG lost to BLG 2-0 last time. Billy Billy Gaming was on the rift. Uh, EDG beat Team Wee 2-0. Week 6, day 4 of spring, BLG 1-2-1, to one, Doggo 11-5-20, Doggo versus Zing is what I want to watch. Um, trying to think. Yeah, in that series last, in spring, Zing was not on the roster, it was uh, Stay. So this will be a different look from Team Wii. Um, I think Zing is better than Stay, um, even though the record still stinks. I think Team Wii... I mean, they waited too long to make their moves, but at least they have, and they haven't been, like, super awful. Um, still losing games, but they're not. I mean, I think that maybe they're improving a little bit. Um, I mean, they have issues, don't get me wrong, a lot of issues. And I don't know if in the off season they're going to fix them or not. But if you like the video, like it, subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. If you have any comments on any of the games that occurred in the LCS this weekend, or the LPL or LCK games that happened today, Sunday, or the games that are going to happen tomorrow, comment down below. Go to the Discord if you'd like. Go to the Patreon and subscribe if you do participate in esports betting, whether it's legal esports betting, whether it's um, predicting who wins, over-unders on kills for players individually, or um, games as a whole. Um, I go over that sort of stuff in a write-up every day. So, um, well every day right now because there's games and I have time I mean I promise to do picks but if it's one day I miss it's one day I miss but either way thank you for watching hope you come back for more